Well, sports broadcast and talent discovery platform Sportwatch recently raised 9.4 crore rupees in a pre-series A round led by Omidya Network India. The company plans to use this to create more opportunities for emerging sports talent while enhancing sports participation at all levels across India. So to tell us about the company's plans ahead and this latest funding, joining me now is Sportwatch co-founder Siddhant Agarwal. Siddhant, welcome to Startup Street. Thanks very much for your time here. Start by briefly telling us about what you do at Sportwatch and the market you're targeting to address and you know what sort of business model are you working with? Sure, thanks Atul. Uh, so what Sportwatch essentially does is it provides an online channel for sports bodies, tournament organizers to live stream their sports games and also helps them discover sports talent from the grassroots of India. Now what essentially is the problem is over 99% of the sports games in the world, not just in India, have no form of live coverage. Now, this is down to many reasons, but one of the primary reasons is live coverage of sports in particular is extremely difficult. So that's where our solution comes in. What we do at Sportwood is we provide a very cost efficient and a convenient way for sports parties, tournament organizers, leagues, clubs to live stream their sports matches. In terms of our business model, it's pretty simple. You as a creator or as a sports tournament organizer or a club pay for whatever service or feature you use uh, also on top of this pay as you use model we have an advertisements and sponsorships layer embedded into our offerings as well like something like a youtube how you are constantly streaming more and more or you as a body are doing tournaments or organizing matches and you get a lot of sponsorships both on ground as well as digital so this 9.4 crores that you've raised in your pre-series A round, uh, how do you plan to deploy this capital exactly? Yeah, so primarily we look to scale our technology and operations. We are doing about 65, 70,000 matches in a year. Uh, that's what we did in the last 12 months. We want to grow that, take it beyond 1 lakh, beyond 100,000. So that's the primary goal, primary objective of this. Apart from that, we also want to start creating our own sports tournaments. Since we have got so much of talent on our platform already, we want to streamline and standardize how sports tournaments in general or sports leagues at a lower tier in India actually are uh, organized or conceptualized or even thought of. So we want to sort of, sort of invest or you know co-create these with our existing consumers only. You know, over the past four years, you claim to have digitized more than 95,000 games from more than 15 sports, provided visibility to about three and a half lakh athletes. So give us a sense of the kind of partnerships you forged for this and how you hope to scale from here. Yeah, certainly. So we work both domestically and internationally as well. We have certain strategic partners internationally as well. As of today, we are, our product is used in South Africa, US, Portugal, uh, a few parts of UK, a few more countries as well. Uh, so one is that element. Second is, of course, back home, uh, where the real um, sort of volumes are also for us. Um, we work with sports bodies like a uh, Maharashtra State Kabaddi Association, a football Delhi, who have hundreds of thousands of matches that they are actually sitting on. We also work with private players. You have... Uh, you have someone like a PNB MetLife that runs a junior badminton championship across the country. We work with them. We have uh, a player, people like Reliance Foundation, whom with we work with, whom with whom we work with. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of such big programs that we also work with. So you're currently providing online services to stream sports events, and you're also helping discover sports talent from across India, but. What next in your bouquet of offerings? What value-add services are you looking to add to your revenue streams? Yes, yeah, certainly. So today what, what is happening is you are streaming so many matches, so much video is captured. You have scouts, you have coaches that are discovering this play, these players. Few of our players have made it to uh, sort of big corporate team. Someone is playing for a Bharat Petroleum. Uh, one one Kabaddi player has even played for the Indian national Kabaddi team that was discovered from interiors of Maharashtra. So we have this sort of progression that is happening. And what we understand or what we see is if we are able to streamline how these tournaments are, you know, not just captured through our technology, but even organized as a, as a concept, as from an infrastructure standpoint to the end delivery of a statistic or a video. So 
as i mentioned earlier as well we want to sort of now invest in these ips or create these sports tournaments with our um, organizing partners who have been our consumers or customers for a long time you know so since your inception in 2019 give us a sense of how the business has done so far uh, what margins what revenues profits are you generating and you know what's the target over the next few years yeah so we roughly make about on an average considering of course the international margins are higher uh but, but clubbing the domestic and international we are somewhere between 55 to 60% in terms of margins uh, we are close to breaking even now we've broken even in the last few months already but of course we are still young it keeps on fluctuating a bit over and above the break even point somewhere below sometimes just above but more or less we are quite close to um achieving that uh, mark quite soon in our journey to be honest so so as, yeah i think from a from a number standpoint it's around that 55 16 per 60% gross margin that we make all right sadant it was a pleasure speaking with you thanks very much for your time here